The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told the disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them are foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise ones brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's easy to hear this parable and conclude that the wise ones should have shared some of their oil. That's the way I've heard kids respond to it. You know? They should have shared. We're taught to share. <laughs> then I mean, the group bridegroom was coming, it was close, it wouldn't be long, they could have shared, their lamps didn't have to burn for very long, they could have shared some of their oil, and they all would have gone into the celebration. But there's some things you just can't borrow. I used to be a runner, uh, many years and three knee, knee surgeries ago, and the pastor I was with at the time would see me going out and say, run a mile for me, sure. You just can't share someone's exercise. I mean, there are things that you just have to do on your own. You can't borrow someone's good health for your doctor's appointment. You can't borrow another team's practice for the big game. The kingdom isn't just something in the future. It's now. All ten that went out to meet the bridegroom were the same to an extent. They all had their lamps, and they all fell asleep. It's when they woke up that there was a difference between them. Five were prepared, and five were not. Five were ready to bring the kingdom of God to life, for ready for the opportunity to do that. We are surrounded by opportunities to respond to those in need. We need to be ready with our lamps burning brightly. That sense of readiness grows out of watching for those opportunities and responding to them. There's no magic vision that some people have. It's simply a matter of making a point to watch for those opportunities and then acting on them. If you aren't paying attention, those opportunities pass you by. You won't even notice, and if you do, you won't respond. And eventually, your lamp runs out of oil. That's something you can't buy and you can't borrow. You can look everywhere for it. What you truly need can only be found within yourself. Most things in life are like that. You get better at something by doing it. You get better at playing a sport by playing that sport. You get better at playing a musical instrument by playing that instrument. You get better at bringing the kingdom of God to life <coughs> by bringing the kingdom of God to life, using those opportunities. 
Jesus said, stay awake. But all ten of them fell asleep. He wasn't talking about not sleeping. He was talking about a spiritual awareness. Stay alert and watch for the opportunities to bring the kingdom to life. Be ready to respond to them when we see them. The more we watch, the more we'll see. The more we act on them, those opportunities, the more we'll be able to act. It's that intention and that desire that's the oil in our lamps.